So in a great hobby, it has so many advantages, but before even sitting in front of your sewing machine, you probably think you have to overcome a few fears, a few mental barriers, and today we're going to talk about them and maybe even give tips on how to overcome them. Before getting started, thank you so much for clicking on the video and if you're new around here, hi, my name is Irene, I make videos about my experience while sewing and if you like this kind of content, consider subscribing, I would really appreciate it, it helps the channel a lot and that way you don't miss anything because I upload a video once a week. Anyways, you all stick around until the end so you can see all these mental barriers and talk about the ones you suffer as well. I'm sure it's happened to you and the best barrier for me was getting started, what to do first, what project to work on, if I have so many ideas, which one will be the best one to start with and sometimes you don't know what to do. But if you don't want to start without a pattern, all these pattern magazines have different level patterns so you can choose for beginners or a more advanced pattern and of course the kind of material to use. They recommend the material, the best material for that project or the one they use and if you're not sure you can have a look at your local fabric store and they usually tell you if something is suitable for a project if you can use this material for a blouse or a dress that's always useful but of course the best thing will be to keep things uh, in mind to keep everything in mind and start slowly try not to start with loads of projects at, at once little by little and step by step I'm sure this one happens to you not only in sewing but in every aspect of life because everyone is so busy nowadays but time time is like the biggest mental barrier ever because it's difficult to find time to do your hobbies find time for yourself and to do the things you like and it's difficult because of course this is something you're doing at home and of course at home there's always something more useful or something more urgent or that can make life easier to more people than uh, making a dress for yourself but maybe what you can do is to set a time to set a date maybe if you were leaving the house to go to a sewing lesson it'll be much easier but because this is at home it's a bit more complicated and that might be the key to set a time to set a date and say well on wednesday afternoons i'm going to be sewing and do that for yourself Another huge barrier is insecurities, insecurities of anything and everything. The tools, the machine, what needles to use, the techniques, the steps, the pattern, the fabric you chose, everything is so overwhelming. And here my tip will be to keep practicing. Practice of course builds up confidence and all this confidence takes away the insecurities, although sometimes they might come back, but they usually don't. Usually. So just keep practicing, don't leave projects halfway through, try to look up information if you don't know how to do, how to follow steps, if you are trying to make uh, a certain type of collar or a certain fly, try to look it up if you can't follow the instructions and that way you'll build up this confidence. And of course the biggest mental barrier is fear in capital letters. Fear to cut the fabric, fear to get stuck and not know how to go on, or fear even of the result if it doesn't look as you expect it to do. All this is really like a ball, you feel like you can't breathe and all this anxiety makes it impossible to sew. So my biggest tip will be to make a twelve. Just make a twirl so you gain confidence and you uh, take away this fear of cutting your good material if you're cutting a mock-up first. Of course, uh, take into account I always look in the Renman box because that way maybe you're not spending that much money in a expensive fabric but you're using Renmans uh, they have in the shop. That's a good tip because you're not as afraid to cut into them. 
And of course the tool makes it easier because once you've done that and you correct, if you have to correct anything, any measurements or any cuts, then the second one you do, the good one, is much easier. It's just a uh, walk. So if you can, if you have time or if it's something difficult, you don't need to make a tool for everything, but maybe for something you're doing that is a bit more special or you're going to use a bit of a more expensive material, you should make a tool as well. And these are the mental barriers I have to deal with all these years of sewing. Of course, there might be people that have different ones. So please let me know down in the comments what you thought and all the ones you suffer from. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and to give it a like. It helps the channel a lot and I would really appreciate it as well. And I leave you two videos here, one of the advantages of sewing so you don't end up with the mental barriers, something positive as well, and another one with basic tips for beginners when sewing. In case you're starting this journey, uh, I hope it helps. Bye.